How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Who is going to be named the Bears' 2020 starter? Today, in episode 75 of Uncut, we are going to be making our case for why Mitchell Trubisky should be the starting quarterback in 2020. Welcome back to the channel, uh, another daily video for you guys. I would like to say we're making the Mitchell Trubisky version of this video today and tomorrow. As much as Jalen's going to hate it, we're going to be making a version on why Nick Foles should start. Uh, I would like to say you guys have been absolutely killing it with the support recently on the videos. Uh, we didn't think 2.5 thousand subscribers was a possibility before the season uh, a couple of weeks ago. I mean, even last week we were at 1.85k subscribers. We're now sitting at about 2,230 subscribers, and I would like to say, if you guys want Bears content every day of the week, keep pouring in the support. Do us a favor and subscribe uh, if you are new to the channel and want content every day. It helps us a ton, and uh, the support you guys keep giving on all these videos makes us continue to want to make more content. Do us a favor and click the bell for notifications whenever we post. Uh, we normally like chatting it up with you guys in the live premieres for our videos. We premiere every single one of our videos and uh, love answering your guys' questions in there, so be sure to click that bell. And yesterday's video on three reasons why the Bears will shock the NFL in 2020 has 246 likes. That's our most likes ever, so do us a favor, slap a like on this video. It really does help us out, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I am your host, Chris Malpe, and today I'm going to be breaking down why Mitchell Trubisky should be the Bears' starter in 2020 with both of my co-hosts, Parsh Shaw and Jalen McClinton. How's it going, fellas? Doing pretty good. Uh, just finished two classes early this morning. I got one more in another hour, so I'll squeeze in a little Bears video. So let's do it. Dude, you might be going home soon. I use not yeah, looking the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> Parth goes to the University yeah, of Indiana, guys, are... or Indiana University. Uh, Indiana University. I'm going to get killed for saying the University of Indiana, but he, he goes yeah, to IU, yeah, okay. and it's not looking great. Uh, Jalen, yeah, how's it going, like, man? <laughs> 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 Well, uh, I'm doing good. Uh, I got out of, at eleven to clock, at eleven o'clock today. Excuse me, and I don't have some classes until next Tuesday. So, got a little nice four day break right there, and um, can't wait to talk some baseball. Football. This season is all literally next week from today. Yeah, um, no kidding. I, I can't wait for some football finally. And you can hopefully enjoy your Labor Day weekend without having to worry about the quarterbacks. But honestly, it's probably going to get leaked this weekend who the starter is, so there's going to be some anxiety and stress no matter what on Labor Day weekend for all Bears fans. So today we're going to be defending Mitchell Trubisky to be the starter, the second round or the second overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, uh, also a 2018 Pro Bowler. You guys know what's been going on. We know what's been going on. Look, we've been talking about this for so long uh, we made our final picks in a video a couple of days ago, and today we're going to be defending Trubisky himself. Tomorrow we're defending Foles. We each have a reason as for why both quarterbacks should start, but we're starting with Trubisky today. It's only right to start with the incumbent, the first one that got snaps in training camp. So let's hop right into it. My reason why Mitchell Trubisky, as you know, you guys know I'm a Foles guy, but my reason as for why Mitchell Trubisky should start, and I, I do think this reasoning does make sense, is because he offers the run game that Nick Foles does not offer for the Chicago Bears. We know Mitchell Trubisky as a quarterback who's great at throwing on the run, uh, not incredibly great in the pocket, but when he gets outside of the pocket, it seems like that's when he makes his most big plays. And we've seen him be able to take off in the run game in 2018 when he had 68 rushing attempts for 421 yards and three touchdowns. That's 6.2 yards per attempt. You look at 2019 when Matt Nagy, uh, you know, a lot of people said Nagy was trying to up the ante of the offense, take it to another level, and it made Mitch more of a pocket quarterback. And we didn't see him take off nearly as much. He only ran 48 times, which was 28 times less, or 20 times less than he did in 2018. And he, his yards were obviously also down, 193 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Uh, his yards per attempt went down by 2.2 yards. We saw him be an effective rusher in 2018, 
and I believe that if he is going to be the starter and the reason that he should start is because Nat, Matt Nagy is going to put more into what Mitchell Trubisky wants to do. We know Trubisky is a quarterback who wants to get outside of the pocket and rush the ball. Uh, he's been in, incredible with doing so in the past. We saw him uh, in the game against the Cowboys last year when he scored four touchdowns, have an incredible, I believe it was a 23-yard rushing touchdown. Uh, when he's able to use his legs, he's a better quarterback. Everyone knows that. In that dimension, isn't offered with Nick Foles, you know. While I believe when you look at Nick Foles, he's someone who's going to make all the throws and, and, and can dice up a defense decently well, uh, he still needs a good offensive line, and we can all agree that Chicago's offensive line isn't looking too great. So if Foles is in there, that could be a little bit of a, a disadvantage for him. But at least with Trubisky, you have someone who can go and run and get four to six yards of carry uh, and also have some boom plays and be able to throw outside of a pocket that is collapsing around him. So... My reason why Mitchell Trubisky should start as there's music playing in my fraternity house. By the way, I'm sorry, guys, if there's been any extra noise in the videos recently. I live in a frat now. Uh, it, it's not uh, a normal to not be in a frat that's uh, quiet, so uh, it is quite noisy. But uh, that being said, uh, if the offensive line isn't great, uh, I do like the idea that Mitch can run outside the pocket, make a throw on the run, and also take off and scramble. So that's the advantage I'm going to give to him as for why he should start. So I'm going to pass it now to Jalen McClinton, who I know has a good point. Jalen, what do you think? Why, and, and make your case here, but why do you think Mitchell Trubisky should start here in 2020? I've been talking about this for, for a while now. How I've always been been a big fan of Mitch, even if he's not on the team next year. Hopefully he is. I'll, I will be a fan of him. So my reasoning is his familiar, familiar – oh, my God, I can't say this word. Familiarity. He knows, he knows the, <laughs> yeah, he knows the receivers. Um, You know, Nick Foles really didn't have um, an opportunity to really get the time and down with the receivers due to the short training camp. Um, it, was, it wasn't any preseason this season. We're going straight into the season, and we only started, like, actual training camp um, a couple weeks ago, maybe, like, I think the week of August 16th or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so, two weeks ago. Um, which is, yeah, which is wasn't even less than a month ago. So he really doesn't have the opportunity to know the receivers like Mitch has. Mitch has been with you know, a couple of these weapons for the last two years, and he knows these receivers. He has a great connection with Allen Robinson, who obviously got a lot of targets last year, and he had over 1,000 yards. Um, later in the season, he was starting to get um, timing down with Anthony Miller, who you know had 400 yards in the last eight games or something like that. So uh, that's why I'm going with that's why I'm going with Mitchell. I feel like that's a, a major um, advantage uh, over Nick Foles. Yeah, uh, you take a look at the top two wide receivers on the Bears, and it's it's uh, it's no really it's not hidden that Trubisky has very good chemistry with guys like Allen Robinson, 98 receptions, 1,147 receiving yards, and seven touchdowns in 2019. Also played with him in 2018 when he had 754 receiving yards and four touchdowns. And then Anthony Miller's another target who uh, who uh, Mitch has relied on throughout his time in Chicago. Uh, obviously, they came out of uh, they came out of the draft on the same in the or, no excuse me uh, in different years, but they but they've been a, a tandem that has hooked up a lot. In the last two years, uh, over a thousand uh, career receiving yards for Miller on 85 catches and nine touchdowns. He's a player who's looking to spring forward uh, in 2020. And you look at other players too on the roster that have been with Mitch for a while: Riley Ridley, Tariq Cohen, Cordero Patterson. Um, you know, there's a lot of familiarity with Mitch. Uh, definitely, the chemistry is in Trubisky's favor. So finally. Making one more case for Mitchell Trubisky, we've got Trubisky Nation himself, who actually switched usernames on Instagram today, uh, saw some backlash, and had to revert that decision at least until the season starts. So, Parth, what do you think? Why should Trubisky get the start here at Ford Field? Um, he's 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 wor he's been working hard this off season. Uh, he's improved his mechanics, uh, specifically his decision making, accuracy, and the way he works in the pocket. Uh, he worked with quarterback trainer Jeff Christensen, uh, who worked with Kirk Cousins, Ryan Tannehill, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Patrick Mahomes the past season, uh, so offseason actually. So, you know, there's some four great quarterbacks right there. If you can have a season like Jimmy G, Kirk, or Ryan Tannehill, I would not complain, um, especially if he can get his footwork going. You know, we all know that Trubisky's had one of the worst footwork in the league. Uh, his accuracy is also down there because of his footwork. And then his decision making has been questionable at times because he hasn't been able to read defenses. Uh, and yesterday or a day before, uh, Matt Nagy said that Trubisky isn't a master yet, but he's getting there. He's gotten better. Uh, he's seen improvement 
and reading the defenses, which is a good sign, especially if you're a Trubisky fan and want him to start. Um, so as long as, like Jalen said, if he keeps up with the familiarity, the chemistry trends up, and then if he can get his decision making and footwork uh, ten times better, which uh, if he if he's been working hard this off season, which he has been, if it all works together, uh, he can have a big season. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a tough decision for the Bears. Mitchell Trubisky definitely right there in the competition with Nick Foles. You know, Matt Nagy said it's not easy, it's not clear cut. Uh, you know, a lot of people say if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have any. But uh, the Bears do have two decent options. Uh, the offensive coaching staff is going to pull back, go through, take every snap of both quarterbacks before making their decision, look whether it was 1v2, 2v1 and such. Uh, Parth brought up a great point there at the end. With decision-making, we haven't seen film. We haven't been at Hallis Hall. We don't know if Trubisky's decision-making has improved. We've seen some negatives. We've seen some positives. And Matt Nagy surely has a tough decision to make this weekend. So do us a favor. Comment down below who you guys think is going to be the Bears' starting quarterback in 2020. Once again, we'll be putting out a video like this in favor of Nick Foles tomorrow, talking about why we think he should get the starting job. Thank you guys for tuning in to episode number 75 of Uncut. If you want more content from us, you can head over to our website, beardown.com. We're going to be posting articles just like these videos on our website talking about why each quarterback should start. And we're pumping out content on our website basically every day, so do us a favor and head over there. There's a ton of people behind the scenes that work hard to make extra content, and we want you guys to enjoy it as well. If you want to find us on Instagram to see sneak peeks of podcasts and such, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter, at Bear Down. Uh, in just about a couple of days here, we're going to have our first episode of Meet the Opponents for the 2020 season. Uh, we're going to, in a couple days, we'll, we'll run it down in a video what we do on game weeks, but it's a little bit different than what you would normally expect from us. We're going to be posting a ton of podcasts, and if you want to listen to those, you can find those here on YouTube and also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you want to find me, Parth, and Jalen's fan pages uh, on Instagram, those are some great follows. The links to those will be in the description. You guys have been supporting us like crazy recently, and we're going to keep putting out videos for you guys every day, so... Be sure to turn on post notifications by clicking that bell. The support's been absolutely crazy, and we're just grinding to 3,000 subscribers at this point. Parsha, Jalen McClinton, any last words? Got a week till football. Uh, we'll be watching Mahomes and Watson kick it off th next Thursday. I'm super excited. And on Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern, we got at Lions, which will be another great game. Uh, bear it out. That's about it. I can't, I can't wait for football. Um, next next week we're probably gonna get talked about a lot due to due to it being Patrick Mahomes against Deshaun Watson. But football is back, and that's all I care about. Football is back, and it's going to be our first uh, real opportunity to cover the season. We're real excited to bring you guys content throughout the next 16, 17, 18, hopefully longer weeks as the Bears hopefully look to uh, return to playoff glory. Once again, my name is Chris Mulpey. It's been a pleasure to be your host. Keep an eye out for videos every day of the week. And Bears fans, do us a favor. As always, stay safe and bear down. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.